If you are working with Laravel as API and you have Vue.js or something like that on the front end, there are many ways to authenticate the user. And in this video, I will show you four different ways how to get the data. So this is a demo application for users list and there will be four ways to get that list. First, without any authentication as I'm showing now, then with Laravel Sanctum or former Laravel Airlock, and then with Laravel Passport, and also with Laravel Passport separately with OAuth. So I asked to call it Modestas to create a project with four different branches. So as you can see in my source tree, there is master branch, then there is demo Sanctum, demo Passport, and demo Passport OAuth. And I won't show you everything, but I will run through each of them. So we have a simple API call for users API controller, and that API controller just loads the user resource, and that user resource is just basically get all the users. And in our case, it's just one admin user seated. So in that simple case, no authorization. And from Vue.js, you click to users link, then you get into users view component, which just gets Axios get to users and gets the data into the table of user list. That view API URL is in here in ENV development local. So locally, I have this domain set up for the API. And then for the front end, I did npm run serve to get this on the local host. Now let's quickly take a look at other branches. What happens with Laravel Sanctum? So let's take a look at the code of demo Sanctum branch. And Laravel Sanctum, for those of you who don't know, it's a new way of authentication in Laravel. At first, when it was released in Laravel 7, it was called Laravel Airlock, but for some copyright issues, it was renamed to Sanctum pretty quickly. And it's positioned as an easier way than Laravel Passport. Laravel Passport is quite heavy, and Sanctum is a bit more lightweight. So to authenticate a user with Sanctum, Let's see what we've got in that branch, what changes. So composer JSON installs Laravel Sanctum, then user has the trade of Sanctum. Then we have two new controllers, login and authentication controller. Sanctum config is a default thing, access tokens for Sanctum as well. And routes API are protected by auth Sanctum, as you can see. Then in app view, we have vshow get user. So this user's list is shown only when user is authenticated and some more JavaScript magic. So main.js has Axios with bare token. Then we have auth.js with load user, login user method, and logout. And then we have login view component with this syntax. In another branch, Laravel Passport without OAuth, it's pretty similar to Sanctum actually. So same controllers, Laravel Passport instead of Sanctum. Then routes API are protected by auth API, not by auth Sanctum anymore. This is actually the same and login view is almost the same, almost the same as you can see. You can check out the branch and see the difference. What is a bit more different is Passport with OAuth. It adds course settings, then we have a few more variables in ENV, so client and secret. And what is different is login.view, it has client ID and client secret passing, and grant type password. And there you have four ways to get the data without authorization with Laravel Sanctum, with Passport and Passport or Auth. Check out the branches, check out the code. If you have any comments, what could be improved, always welcome. And let me know in the comments, which way do you use in your projects? In the future, the plan is that we will shoot more videos on API and Vue.js specifically. Sometime in 2020, we're planning to rebuild our Vue.js Laravel admin panel generator. I won't promise any dates for now because it's really hard to plan ahead with coronavirus stuff. But yeah, expect more from us about Vue.js. And if you want to be notified of new videos, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified. And see you guys in other videos.